All right, thank you, Courtney. Well, in education news this morning, Helston County is the largest school district in the central Georgia area, and it is switching to e-learning to one platform across the district. Our Pepper Baker is joining us live with tips on what parents need to know to help their students. So good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Erin. Yes, I have to give school staff members and students major credit because I didn't take my first online class until I got to college. And you know, the way college classes work, those only happen like two or three times a week. But K through 12 students are having to take their complete their full assignments from their daily schedules all online. But in order to make digital learning a little bit easier, Houston County Schools decided to switch the entire district to Google Classrooms. Technology is a major tool in the education world today, but since the COVID-19 school closings, districts are having to depend on it like never before. Of roughly 30,000 students and roughly 3,000 educators teaching in this style in a way through a digital platform where it kind of removes a lot of barriers. Houston County Schools Integration Specialist Larry Wadsworth says teachers, students, and parents are having to navigate through nearly a whole semester's worth of lessons online. It really comes down to how easy we can get students in there and we can help the teachers to facilitate that learning. And, and that's Google Classroom makes that very, very simple. School leaders decided to move the entire district to Google Classroom. Students can find the link on the district's homepage and log in using the same credentials they've had all school year. When you first log into a class, you're going to see your news and announcements. This is called the stream. At the top, there's a classwork tab. You're going to click on that and you'll see all your classwork. You click on an assignment name. You will see the assignment. Without leaving that screen, you can work on the assignment and you can submit the assignment. And any feedback the teacher gives you, you'll be able to see it right there on that screen. Students can talk with their teachers and get their help in real time. Wadsworth says although this is a challenging time for us all, it'll be an advantage in the future. Using computer programs, using software, it's part of every industry out there. So it's something that kids need to be exposed to. Now, another feature I thought that was really cool about Google Classrooms are that students are able to upload large video files. So let's say for subjects that are a little bit more interactive, like art or band, a student can upload a video of them maybe practicing their instrument. The teacher can watch it and then critique them just like they could grade a Word document for like a paper, which I thought was just very cool. So definitely a great tool for various subjects. I just think that's pretty awesome. Live from home. Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. It is Pepper, and they're making it accessible to all of the students, and I like how easy it is. Well, the district posted a tutorial video with more information on using Google Classrooms on their webpage. But, of course, the district knows not every student has the same resources, and there may be students out there without access to a device. So, they have a solution. People can pick up a Google Chromebook this week if they do fall under that category. And this will help make sure students can interact with teachers and complete tests and assignments on the platform. You can get the Chromebook at several pickup locations this week. That's today from 8 to 10 a.m. at CB Watson Primary and from 1 to 3 p.m. at Thompson Middle. Tomorrow pickup will be from 8 to 10 a.m. at Fagan Middle School and 12 to 2 p.m. at Langston Road Elementary. There is a limited supply, so the district can only give one Chromebook per family. You can find more information on our website. 